this issue is very systemic, generational. We really wanted to continue the conversation. Going from an awareness day to awareness week, on Monday, Toronto is set to spotlight how anti-black racism is impacting the mental health of black Torontonians, raising awareness on an issue that disproportionately impacts this community due to a number of factors particular um, prejudice and, and challenges within systems. And then when we look at social determinants of health and how people are exposed to various stress and trauma in their lives are also at high risk of being um, diagnosed or, or accessing mental health services. The city called on Tai Bu Community Health Center, a non-for-profit community-led organization that serves black Canadians, to develop a campaign. Stigma is a challenge. Engagement is too, with the community that experts say are late in accessing services. There is this saying that I usually want to challenge. Uh, every door is the right door. Uh, some doors are not the right doors for certain communities. We need to make sure that there is uh, more access to mental health services in communities. This community is at higher risk of facing a mental health diagnosis such as psychosis. And according to a study, a significant number of young people are accessing services through the criminal justice system. Because there is underdiagnosed or underassessed mental health in the community for black youth, there is a, a vicious circle of once you are in that revolving door between criminal justice and mental health institutions, it's very difficult to break that. Services in some cases aren't accessible or helpful, not considering people's culture, values, where they come from, and how they express their well-being. Mental health services have been designed um, within the framework of Eurocentric uh, individuality and very medical model that is not always helpful. And for those conversations to happen, service providers, hospitals and stakeholders will come to the table. As the Awareness Week kicks off on Monday, organizers are also hoping to hear from black Torontonians. There is a lot of work to be done in understanding um, how people view mental health services, how they express mental health services, where is the point of access for mental health services. A number of other cities followed in Toronto's footsteps, including neighbouring Brampton and Ottawa, developing their own mental health awareness campaigns for black communities. For City News, I'm Faiza Amin.